Hi, I'm Nick, and welcome to the Riggin' Farm YouTube channel. You can see my pigs here in the background. I just fed them their breakfast. In addition to eating their feed, they're also eating a lot of the vegetation that's on the ground where I put their feed. They absolutely love their swine feed and usually go for that versus any other treat that we give them. Feeding them directly on the ground forces them to eat the natural vegetation along with the swine feed. We want this to happen because most of the stuff growing here is undesirable. We use the wagon wheel method of rotating our pigs onto five different paddocks. If you're not familiar with that method, we'll go ahead and post a link of one of our videos that explains it in greater detail. Our pigs are currently on paddock number two of our five paddock system and we're going to show you some video of paddock number one that they just got moved off of. But first let's take a look at that paddock before they had access to it. The entire pig area is about two acres and is separated into five paddocks that are one quarter to half an acre each. We got this aerial footage with our drone to show you the entire paddock. This particular section has fewer trees than the other four. That's why we chose this one to show how much they can accomplish. We use pallets as gates to close off each of the paddocks that are not in use. They had access to this one most recently. Notice how little vegetation there is after a few weeks of being fed here? This gate was just removed and the pigs are eager to check it out. They're especially excited about the mound of feed they're swarming. Look at all that growth up on the hill right behind the pigs. It's amazing how quickly these animals clear and till the land. Here it is a week later. Every morning at breakfast time, they're given feed in a different location within the paddock to ensure maximum efficiency. Ready to see what it looks like after another week? Paddock number two was opened up for the pigs to start cleaning up another section of our property. That's where I was standing in the beginning of this video. With the gate closed, let's check out the paddock once again. So much more area has been cleared of vegetation. Let's look at it again from two weeks ago. Now a bird's eye view of today. They eat most of the weeds and grass, but leave the trees alone. We have tons of small poplars growing through here. Let's see that same area again two weeks prior. And now back to the present time. Hopefully this video clearly demonstrated how effective pigs are to help clear, till, and fertilize land that is otherwise unsuitable for livestock such as cattle or sheep. Please consider subscribing if you don't already to see how we continue to progress here at Riggin Farm. We'll see you next time!